So here we have a sagittal section through the hind limb of a horse. We can see the tibia coming down, attaching to the talus. We have our calcaneus bone here. We have our central and third and fourth tarsal bone. We then have our third metatarsal bone. Our proximal, middle, and distal phalanx, our proximal sesamoid bone, and our distal sesamoid bone. Okay, we can see here the long digital extensor coming all the way down to attach to the extensor process here. We see our gastrocnemius tendon attaching to the tuber calcanei. Now we're going to find a bursa that sits between it and that tuber calcanei. We don't see that well here. And that would be the subtendinous bursa. We do see a bursa that communicates with this bursa that comes between the superficial digital flexor tendon and the tendon of the gastrocnemius. And that's the intertendinous bursa. Sometimes we even have a subcutaneous bursa here, which when it's irritated, will give us capped hock. Okay, if we follow on down here, we see our suspensory ligament here. Remember, it's going to divide to go to the abaxial surfaces of our proximal sesamoids and then come around to join via the extensor branches, the long digital extensor. We have here the distal sesmoidian ligaments, which are countering the pull of the suspensory ligament. Remember, we have the dorsal and plantar pouches of our fetlock, our pastern, and our coffin joint. And then between our deep digital flexor tendon here and the navicular bone is our navicular bursa. Okay, let's turn it over, look at the other side. Okay, here we can see real nicely how the deep digital flexor tendons come through that tarsal tunnel, go over the sustentaculum talli, and then continue on down all the way to the flexor surface of the third phalanx. Our superficial digital flexor tendon is coming on down here. Remember, it's going to divide and go to either side of the deep digital flexor tendon to attach to the second phalanx. We can review quickly the hoof. We've got the perioplic epithelium here giving rise to the stratum externum. And then underneath it is the perioplic corium coronary epithelium giving rise to the bulk of the hoof wall, the stratum medium, and beneath it is the coronary corium. The laminar corium, it would be about here with the laminar epithelium overlying that, giving rise to the stratum internum. That stratum internum and that deep part of the stratum medium give rise to our white line. Okay, and so here we have the digital cushion to kind of complete our view here.